Hey guys, Mel the Train Shooter here with the February Ramble. Hope you're all doing okay. Right, well, what a month. Hasn't January flown by? I mean, really flown by. I mean, oh, I've hardly got anything done. I seem to have been really busy, but got nothing achieved. <laughs> right, uh, as always, yeah, bit of a list, bit of a list. Hope it isn't too long of a ramble, but I know you, you do like my rambles, or some of you do, and those that don't, I suppose they don't watch them, do they? Anyway, shall we go on? Right. I suppose it's probably best to start with, you know, the bad news. Okay, right, last video I was raving about going to Adepticon, yeah. Bad news, plain and blunt, yeah, I've decided not to go. Okay, why? Right, well, first off, you know, we've got the money together for the flights, I was getting the money for the watch club for food and, tran you know, transport and, you know, spending cash and that sort of stuff, and I was sitting down, I was looking at the figure. Okay, and it's a fair whack, you know, no doubt about that. And to be perfectly honest, right now I can't justify spending that much money, yeah, on, you know, three day jolly. Okay, I really want to go, I definitely want to go. I'm considering next year, aiming to do it next year and actually do Adepticon, then go on to Gen Con, and then perhaps a, a little bit of a holiday afterwards. I have, you know, the wife and kids come out to me, watch it sort of after, you know, I've done the convention sort of thing, but, you know, it's got to be priced up. But I was just thinking, if I'm going to, you know, I've never been to America, it's a hell of a lot of money for the flight, you know, it, it's an expense, and if I'm going to do it, do it properly, you know what I mean? Now, like I say, I looked at the money, you know, and, you know, my brain just kicked in and it said well you know you could spend that more wisely and you know I've been banging on about getting a, a better camcorder rather than filming off a webcam that can only do four megabits per second yeah so I went out I've already got myself what you call it a camcorder you're looking at me right now okay it's HD quality and proper HD quality I've still got to learn to use it yeah <laughs> it's gonna take some while so stick with me but there's a couple of other big purchases that I want. Now, the other big purchase is I need a shed. I need a man cave, gents. And, and ladies, and maybe ladies out there. Hello, ladies. God, that's so bloody awful. I'm not going to edit that out. It's me. <laughs> Hello, ladies. You see how sweet. You can, see how, you can tell I've been married for 15 years, can't you? I've got no chance. But anyway, yeah, I need a shed. Now, my wife, as lovely as she is, yeah, she's been incredibly supportive of this terrain adventure. And I can honestly tell you, yeah, it has taken over our house. Yeah, and I mean it's taken over our house. The poor woman hasn't seen a kitchen table since we did the Alpha Heroes project. And that was back, I started that back in April last year. Yeah, so she's nine months without a kitchen table. And to be perfectly honest, you know, she stuck with it. And she's, you know, I've got stuff in corners. And, you know, I've got, I've got three... Fourth of guys, yeah, basically I'm taking over the house. I've got sacks of ballast in the kitchen. Well, a sack of ballast is half full, I mean, I've done, but you know what I mean. It's now, every good woman has a limit. And she's been cool with how I've been overrunning the house and everything like that. She's been absolutely brilliant, yeah. But I discovered, yeah, her limit. And her limit is me using my belt sander in the kitchen. <laughs> Which, to be perfectly honest, yeah. <gasps> Should have seen the mess. I wish I'd taken a photo. I didn't really. First time I used it, it was raining outside. I thought, well, you know, I've cut in the kitchen with a jigsaw before. I've used a sander before. It can't be that bad. My. It was everywhere. It took me like 12 hours. Yeah, literally 12 hours to clean the kitchen because the dust got everywhere. Yeah, and to be perfectly honest, yeah, obviously that was her breaking point, you know. She said, no more cutting on the inside. I looked outside, you know, it was raining. And I sat down and it was like, right, I need somewhere to go. You know, I don't want to hire a unit or anything like that. It's way too commercial and that sort of thing. But I need somewhere. Now, there's no room in the house. I've got room in the garden for a shed. There's a deal on Argos at the minute for an eight foot by six foot metal shed for £200, which is like a cracking deal. It's half price. So, you know, I've gone for it and I've ordered it. Yeah, it should be here in two weeks. 
I will be having my man cave, but it's big enough for me to watch clip, put work surfaces in, it's going to be big enough for me to store my, my MDF boards, my polystyrene, that sort of stuff. Chances are I'm still going to be filming and using what you call it, you know, in the house for my tutorials and, and for doing my detailed work and that sort of stuff, because to be perfectly honest, I don't want to live in a shed. You know, I don't want to have to go out to the shed at 8 o'clock at night, you know, and what you call it, be freezing. Although I'll tell you what, I'm going to insulate it, yeah, with polystyrene, yeah. So the, white, the white stuff, not the pink stuff, the pink stuff I save for hills, but I'm going to insulate with polystyrene, perhaps bubble wrap, because that's cheap, hot glue, squirty foam, we'll do a video, it'll be hilarious. And on the plus side, yeah, if I ever need any polystyrene, you know, I can just chip it off. <laughs> I, I, God knows what I was, it'll be an adventure, guys, but basically it's going to give me somewhere where I can make a mess. You know, even gritting, you know what it's like, yeah, it's the dust from it, everything, yeah, spraying, the fumes, it's just going to give me somewhere dry. If I put a little heater in there, you know, I'll make sure I've got to check that I don't put it towards the polystyrene walls. <laughs> the burning inferno, it'd go up quick as well with all the flammable stuff, the terrain. But anyway, you know, just somewhere where I can work and, you know, I can leave things and I can mess around, yeah, and the wife can get a kitchen back. Yeah, I mean, I'm still going to be this little corner of my living room, you know, this is me. You know, she accepts that and, you know, I don't think she'd have it any other way, to be perfectly honest. You know, she wouldn't see me otherwise. <laughs> I'm always doing terrain stuff. But, yeah, so, two big purchases, yeah, camcorder and the shed. We, we need a name for the shed. Okay, guys, uh, quick competition, yeah. Names for sheds, throw a name, they're like power bunkers, that sort of stuff, think it terrain wise, okay? Come up with a name for the shed, yeah? Throw it in, yeah, I don't even know if there'll be a prize, or maybe internet point, oh, you know, shits and giggles, guys. <laughs> come, up, come up with a name for the for the shed. So, that's the, what's called, that's the, well, it, the bad news is, like, you know, not going to Adepticon, which I am gutted about, yeah? But, I'm a realist, you know, I wanted better footage, you know, I need a shed. The other money, you know, spending money, I've already got plans for that, you know, there's a few tools and things and a couple of new products I wanna try out. So, you know, it's going on a good cause and, you know, it's going to improve things. So, you know, and I don't I like the idea of actually, you know, having a year to save up to watch it to do a much bigger and actually a holiday with the kids. Do you know what I mean? It's been so long, and especially America, you know, so that's what's going on and that's why. Now, it was the bad news, but at the same time, yeah, the good news is that the spare bit of cash also, yeah, and I forgot to mention this, what do you call it? I've already booked my tickets for uh, Salute Sorted, uh, UK Games Expo uh, is what you sorted in Birmingham, so now they're two of the biggest, along with, and then there's Derby. Yeah, but I've got, I'm going to book accommodation for Salute so I can be there nice and early without all the ass and that sort of stuff. But basically, yeah, I'm not going to Adepticon, but I'm going to two of the biggest UK gaming conventions. So I'm still going to get to see loads and do that walkabout and all that sort of stuff. You know what I mean? So it's cool. It's really cool. So, right. Okay, terrain front. Well, you know what's been going on. You've been watching my tutorials. You know I've been working on... What have I been working on? What have I done? Lots of grass and that sort of stuff. Should I look at my videos? Yeah. Yeah, grass and stuff. And there's more grass and stuff to come. In fact, no, it will have been by now because you'll have seen it on Wednesday. It's Wednesday today, so I'm just uploading it. So, anyway. Yeah. Hope you like the Jungle Folly tutorial. That's coming up. I was going to grab it here to show you, but you've seen it. What's the point? Uh, did a... Uh, I've also been working on the Cork Hill tutorial. That should be coming relatively soon, fingers crossed. Tutorials are starting to take longer to make. One there's like the video editing and all that sort of stuff side of it. And the production, which is taking longer as I've got new, you know, the footage is, the footage is bigger, so it takes longer to capture. Well, longer to process into my computer, longer to render, longer to edit. Especially now I'm using WatchClip, uh, Watch a new editing program that one of my patron, yeah, I'm calling, I'm calling them patrons. Patrons, yeah, that'll do. One of my patrons, you know, stumped up for me, and that was really awesome. 
Yeah, and it, it, patrons. Uh, I've got a patronage site. Basically, there's a link on my channel. If you you know if you want to support my channel and help me with what I do and that sort of stuff, yeah, go check that out. But that's all I'm saying on that. I don't want to keep banging on about it. Uh, yeah, but one of my patrons got it. But it's taking longer to do, yeah, and so I'm not knocking them out really quick like I was with the sort of low footage stuff on my desk. It's also taking longer to get the lighting right and that sort of stuff, yeah. But I'm hoping they're better tutorials, you know, and also we've covered all, the, we've pretty much covered all the basic stuff, yeah. Now we're getting into the more advanced stuff and the builds. Actually on that I was thinking, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm all about doing terrain and tutorials and that sort of stuff. You know that. That's that's my bag. Yeah. But obviously, I'm doing odd bits of commissions here and there to get money and support the channel. You know, pay for it. Well, not. But you know what I mean? Are you guys interested in, like, video logs of when I do a build? Like, you know, a quick two minutes a day. You know, and I'll show you what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, that sort of stuff. And you can watch a build sort of grow. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm taking tutorials out, so whenever I do a build, there's, you know, there's unique things that I haven't shown you how to do, and so, you know, I sort of separately film a tutorial off the back of that. But are you guys interested in, like, build vlogs? You know, and if I'm doing a build, you know, I can take you through it day by day and just show you. Let me know in the comments, yeah, if that's something you're interested in. Yeah, I know it's not tutorials, you know, so it's... Let me know, guys, you know what I mean? So yeah, we've got all that funky stuff. I really want to get the foam board builds finished, yeah? That was a project, a tutorial that we started before the Help for Heroes project in last April. And it stopped because we're doing the Help for Heroes and it's never kick-started. So I want to get that finished. There's also Foreground, yeah? And if the guys from Foreground are watching, which they probably aren't, but if you are, hi Ben, hi... Oh, I can't remember the other guy's name. Sorry, dude. But hi, Ben, and the other... Cad, yeah, that's it. Hi, Ben, and I think there's a stew as well, but I'm not sure on that. But hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, I have been working with your stuff. I've been weathering it. Yeah, look at it. I'll throw you a quick picture up, yeah. But I've got a bigger kit that I want to work on, but I've come across a little bit of a stumping problem. The wood. Yeah, well, I spent ages trying to figure out and get the wood to look really good and figure out the colours and that sort of stuff. And the wood on the other building's different. So I've got to start again figuring out how to do... Where is it? It's gone. Ah, there. The the lighter wood. So, test piece. Yeah, but that should be coming, fingers crossed. Yeah. Uh, and that's about, what you call it? That's about it for the terrainy stuff. Well, I mean, what you call it? Last, one last shout out, yeah. Uh, the WTC show that we had, what you call it, earlier, last Sunday, yeah. Brilliant show. I know there was an issue with the sound near the end and, and, and the feedback, yeah, we're, we're on it. Headphones in future, so that won't be a problem, but it was a really good show. If you're interested in laser cutting and that sort of stuff, yeah, well worth a watch, genuinely, guys. Yeah, I really did enjoy the show. I can get more like that and more stuff. And let me know, you know, WGC shows when we have the special guests. You know, obviously they're terrain shows, yeah, so let me know, watch clip. You know, who, who do you want us grab? You know, do you want the, the, the terrain studios? Do you want the people, the manufacturers? Do you want the designers? Well, you know, let me know. Do you want us to go off the tangent and get like architectural modelers and people, you know, an architect, see if we can get an architect on to talk about buildings and concepts. You know, let me know on that one as well. Okay, right, finally, a little bit of hobby roundup. Yeah, and I like the idea of Hobby Roundup because I'm going to include Hobby Roundup, yeah, as a specific part of my ramble. And the reason for that is if I include it as a specific part of my ramble, then, what you call it, I've got to do hobby stuff. <laughs> now I know it sounds crazy, I've got a full-time YouTube channel. <laughs> well, it's not full-time, but you know what I mean. You know, I've got this YouTube, I'm the terrain tutor, da, 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 da. when was the last time you painted a model? Donkey's years ago. So, yeah, it's, you know, not a New Year's resolution, but I gave myself a kick up the butt and said, you know, dude, you're going to have to start gaming and playing more. Yeah, because I wasn't doing that, it was all terrain. You know, I mean, I can't believe how many terrain sets have gone out of this house. Yeah, and I haven't played on them. I mean, it's morally wrong, guys, it's just wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm including a hobby roundup, which is non-terrain related, unless it's terrain for me, but that's no, but no, no, non-terrain related at all, yeah, about what hobbying I'm doing, 
Yeah. Now I have been painting. I haven't got any gaming gaming in yet. There's a Stoke Games Club. I need to get in touch with those guys and get down watch call it. I was supposed to go down. There was a mix up over things. And I need to get that flowing again and get back into a gaming club because I'm not in with a gaming club at the minute, to be perfectly honest. Or if there's another local gaming club that would like an experienced terrain builder on their books, for now, you know, I've got skills. Don't know how good they are, but I've got skills. But anyway, yeah, I've been painting my Orknar relics. Yeah, and these are Boogie Orknar. Now, I know you can't see him properly. Yeah, I'm not going to bring him up to the camera. Here's a pick. Don't they look awesome? Yeah, now, there's no one round here I can play relics with, and that's something I need to sort, yeah. But, you know, I hadn't painted in six months, yeah, so I just decided, sod it, I'm gonna grab, I had the starter box that I got at Derby, yeah, and what you call it, I thought, thought, you know, I'm a bit rusty, I'll use these as, you know, my get back into painting, yeah, and what you call it, I'm getting back into painting and I've actually really enjoyed it. I'm only doing sort of 20 minutes in the evening, you know, but, you know, before, you know, I think there's a calm down. I'm not having massive painting sessions because I do a lot of terrain, but I'm making sure I'm getting hobby in. Yeah. And that's why I want to include this section. Yeah. To sort of guilt me into making sure I do hobby. My little lad, Corb, he's been busy, what you call it? Priming his, what you call it? His orc models. Yeah. And got this. Now, 40k, I love 40k, yeah, I haven't played it properly since probably 5th edition, or maybe 4th, yeah, I've got absolutely every edition, absolutely every one, you know, I've played it since Road Trader, yeah, now I know there's a bit of controversy, you know, it's a love-hate thing with 40k and Games Workshop, and I know there's loads of other good games like Relics and that sort of stuff, but, yeah, I want to game with Corb and Willow, yeah. Uh, to game with them, I'm better off going for something that's really mainstream because it, Corb wants to game with his mates and a couple of his mates have expressed an interest. Now, if I pick something really obscure, well, I'm going to say obscure with... When I say obscure, what I mean is in day-to-day -day terms, you know, things like uh, Relics, uh, Malifaux, Infinity, Kings of War... Dead so and loads of all the different games aren't obscure within our gaming community. But yeah, the one thing about 40k and Games Workshop is generally every bugger's heard of it in the UK. I mean it, generally if you're in the UK, yeah, if someone if if you go, you know, I play miniature war games, someone will go, what, like that Warhammer thing? Yeah, because it is so well known. I mean it's everywhere. You know, so it's a it's a system and it's a game that what do you call it is easy access for his mates as well. You know what I mean? And I know they say, oh, it's broken, it's unbalanced, it's overpowered, and all this sort of stuff. But it's kids playing. You know, it's not tournament play. So you know, we can forgive his, his weaknesses really easily. Now the other thing is the news out of Games Workshop and the well, not the rumours are that fantasy is going to this sort of skirmish now i got into the ha fantasy yeah i got in at third edition yeah i loved it absolutely loved the game yeah i'd had a massive skeleton vampire counts army yeah mates had uh my mate ian had elves and no tosh had elves ian had dwarves you yeah, know we we lost summers playing it yeah but i've always been reluctant to get back into it because of the high model count now if this reboot reset thing is and it's going skirmish yeah, I can seriously see me jumping on that as well. Or at least taking an interest. Yeah, it's a low model count, you know, it's got to be worth a nose, but we'll see on that. But, 40k, so I'm getting back into it, yeah. So, this channel, it, I'm not becoming a gaming channel, guys. You're not going to get tactics, you're not going to get battle reports or anything like that. It's terrain on the Terrain Tutors channel. Yeah, but hobby-wise, painting relics, yeah, and what you call it, uh... Corb's painting his orcs. Willow's still playing with the Super Dungeon Explorer models. She does love them. There you go. She's getting better. We're slowly getting there. She's got to do her fine stuff. I, I know you can't see it close, but, you know, she's getting better. And she loves it. Absolutely loves it. Uh, what else? Da -da 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 I've got some Victoria Lamb Imperial Guard vets to do, so I've got to do those. So, yeah.
that's what so yeah that's what I've been doing in hobby I've been doing hobby yeah I've listen guys you've got to bully me if by summer I haven't got a 40k city fight table yeah give me grief yeah because I have an amazing guard army I love it it's my passion okay the Corbanian Prime first yeah the Corbanian first from Corbanian Prime little story about that I got out of the hobby yeah obviously when I discovered alcohol women mm -hmm. yeah you know what I mean like quite a lot of people do I got back into the hobby when we were having when we were having Corbin Corbin my wife fell ill about six months into the pregnancy in fact no no even earlier than that because Corbin was born two months prem uh, Probably about what? Probably about four months into the pregnancy, she couldn't breathe. But basically, she, cut a long story short, yeah, she had a cyst on her liver the size of a small football. Yeah, now they're bad in their own right. Yeah, but add a baby in that slowly growing, and what was happening was there just wasn't enough room, yeah, for a heart and lungs to operate properly. Yeah, so as you know, this big lump and this big watch of baby growing. Yeah, she got short and short of breath, you know, uh, she started having a heart. And basically, you know, she spent months in hospital, yeah. And they, we basically had to wait, because they couldn't operate on the cyst or really do anything about it, because, because of Corbin, she couldn't have operations. So it was, it was a harrowing time, you know, and at the time, yeah, I was virtually living at the hospital. Yeah, and when... That's when I actually got back into the hobby because I was staying in the relatives' quarters and in the evening, you know, when I couldn't visit, you know, so to, I mean, actually in the hospital, you know, the relatives' quarters in the hospital, but when I couldn't go on the ward or I wanted, you know, it's quiet time in the paediatric, that sort of thing, yeah, I actually went into the local GW, picked up some models and I got painted, yeah, and they were guard and I called them the Corbanian first and that's because I made a promise to Corbin. Yeah, while he was in his incubator that, you know, I would paint him an army. Yeah, and as soon as he was old enough, yeah, I'd teach him to play. And as soon as I could trust him with the army, he could have it. So, the army that's over there, we call Banian first. And, you know, I'll show him you one day. But, they're technically his. So, you know, I've got a lot invested in 40k. Yeah, and I want to get the guard army. It's a city fight army. Yeah, so I need a city. So going back to what I was going back to, if I haven't got a city fight army, for, city fight table for myself by summer, kick my arse, yeah? Right, I think I have rambled enough. I've covered everything I wanted to cover. I have covered. Yeah. Right, guys, I'm going to leave you to it. Have a cracking weekend, yeah? More stuff coming. Obviously, another train roundup. Uh, Cork Hill tutorial should be coming pretty soon. Not sure if it'll be this week or next week. Yeah, it depends on how quickly I can get it finished. Yeah, but it's coming. Yeah, phone ball coming, uh, and possibly Altnar terrain. Possibly, I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Also, big table coming as well. I'll show you that as well. Yeah. Let me know on the battle bunker names, the name for the shed. Uh, let me know what you think about the vlogs. Let me know about what you think about the who we should have on the WDC terrain shows and. Let me know about anything else I should know about, yeah? Because you know where I'm like, I'm right forgetful. Anyway, have a cracking weekend, guys. I will see you soon. All the best. Ta-da. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I do that every video.